Hi, Tracy here with Acrylic Art Expression, and today I would like to dedicate this video to a little girl named Summer Wells. Summer Wells was a five-year-old little girl who lived at 110 Ben Hill Road, Rogersville, Tennessee. On June 15th, she was reported missing by her mom, Candace Bly Wells. If you have any information about this little girl, please call 1-800-TBI-FIND. She was five years old at the time of her disappearance, standing three foot tall at 45 pounds with blonde hair and blue eyes. Please call 1-800-TBI-FIND. And I'll show you a little picture of Summer. This is Summer Moon, Utah Wells. This little girl has captured my heart and the hearts of many across the nation. So if you have any information, please call 1-800-TBI-FIND. This video is going to be a painting dedicated to Summer. And after my first 500 subscribers, I'm going to give this painting to the first First 500 subscribers get a chance to win this painting that I'm going to do right now, dedicated to Summer Wells. Thank you. So don't forget, if you're one of my 500 first subscribers, you get a chance to win this painting. I fell in love with that little girl. I feel so bad. It was alleged that she was uh, SA'd by her dad. Her dad's name was Donald Wells. And it came out that he was actually accused of SAing his little sister when he was 14 and she was 5. Um, which isn't right. I mean, um, he openly admitted it on YouTube. I'm not just talking out my butt here. Um, they were on drugs really bad. The mother apparently was having an affair with a 15-year-old little boy. Uh, the story they told the police was that uh, they woke up early, went to the hospital around 8 o'clock to take Summer's mother, Candace, and her mother, Candace, which we'll refer to as Brandis, to the hospital. Apparently, the Summer's brother, Summer had three brothers, and they had kicked Grandma's leg and injured her knee. So, while they were there, it was alleged that Candace contacted Hunter, her one of her ex-friend's son, who was 15, and asked him if he wanted to hang out while they were waiting for their grandma, for her mom to get done at the hospital. Well, Grandma got done at the hospital, so they decided to go to the pharmacy, drop off prescriptions, and uh, go swimming. And that's, the, they dropped Hunter off at home. Well, actually, they stopped and got Hunter, the 15-year-old, a twisted teen. He's 15. And uh, they dropped Hunter off at home. And then, two hours later, Summer was reported missing. There's a lot of... Um, things going on in this case and it's really bothersome like I have a lot of respect for the true crime community on YouTube here but as of late I feel like it has been totally like crazy as of late <laughs> Uh, people are talking about other people. Um, I just, I just can't believe it. Like the childhood, like the childish things that are going on. Um, there's so many characters in this. Uh, what's going on? There's so many like things just going on. You'll have to just do your own research into it. Just go to any. Just go to YouTube and um, type in Summer Wells, and I'm sure lots of pages will pop up. There's lots of 
pages out there like Molly Go Lightly. Um, there's Crime Stories Obsessed, Plunder. There's there's all kinds of YouTube channels out there talking about this case. It's really funny how you get to know somebody after, I mean, her mom posted a lot of videos of her on TikTok, Facebook, so you really get a sense of knowing who these little kids are who come up missing. And this is, I can't believe how many kids are missing in the world nowadays. It's just, it's crazy. It was said that her parents were meth heads. There's so many, um, just so many things going on about it. Me, personally, I think the little girl was trafficked. Um, and I only say that because I saw a YouTube video, or I mean a, a TikTok, that um, little Summer's mom posted. And she was dancing, Summer was dancing in front of a barrel that um, said for sale on it. And I just thought that that was the oddest thing. Like, and then later on, I saw another video, and the, the, uh, the can, the, the burn barrel, was flipped over on its side, and the for sale sign wasn't on there anymore, and I just thought that was really kind of strange. Um, yeah, I just, I thought that, that, that was really strange. How do you take a picture of your five-year-old daughter in front of a barrel that says for sale? It just, the whole thing is shady to me, guys. I mean, I'm not like a regular um, true crime person, but I just, it, it's just too much. This is unbelievable what's going on with this case. This little painting is going to be, like I said, a tribute to Summer Wells. And my first 500 subscribers have a chance to win this for free. Free shipping, free everything. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button and become a subscriber to my channel. I'm new to YouTube, so I need to get my name out there. Yeah, just have to get my name out there.
It's really pretty. It's intricate. So don't forget, if you have any information regarding Summer Moon Utah Wells missing since June 15th, 2021, she is three foot tall, 45 pounds, blonde hair, and blue eyes. She's been missing since June 15th. Call 1-800-TBI-FIND. Here's a picture of Summer. The little girl stole my heart, and I'm sure she stole the rest of America's, and the world. Here's another picture of Summer. 1-800-TBI-FIND. Okay, here's my painting. Dedicated to Summer. You can see it very well, but this painting is dedicated to Summer, and um, my first 100 or 500 subscribers, my first 500 subscribers get a chance to win this painting for free. So, 
If you want to help a girl out, I'm sorry about that. I think you should see my face when I'm talking to you. But anyways, I really need some support on my channel. I am very new to YouTube. So if you could please hit the subscribe button. Even if you don't like this video, you may like my next one. So at least subscribe because you never know what I'm going to come out with next. Thank you.